Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Let me invite you to pick up a Bible and turn with me to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 27. Today we'll look at verse number 46. Have an encounter with God and His precious Word with our coffee today. Well, hallelujah. There's just no better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God. Well, friend, over in Matthew 27, 46, the Bible says here, And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbathani, that is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Friend, today I want to talk to you about uh, mistreatment and freedom. It was the ninth hour, right when the slaughter of the Passover lamb would have commenced in the temple. As the priests made offering memorializing Israel's deliverance from slavery in Egypt, there was another lamb, the lamb of the living God, He was being sacrificed on the cross of Calvary for much more enduring liberation, our eternal release from the bondage of sin and the penalty of death, and whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. You know, we are wise to note the words of the Lord. Uh, He became our sin offering. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In that particular moment, he felt the full consequences of our sin and how it makes us feel alienated, isolated, and helpless, and then utterly hopeless. But you see, Jesus took that penalty on himself so that you wouldn't have to endure that penalty any longer. You can now be liberated and set free from the painful separation from God caused by your own failings. So whenever you feel rejected, whenever you feel hopeless, or whenever you feel alone, remember that Jesus has been where you are, and he welcomes you with the love and compassion. You see, your God has not forsaken you, nor will he ever forsake you. Rather, he's given everything so you can know him and have an eternal assurance of his presence and know his freedom. Friend, he paid such a high price because he loves us so much. Uh, And we ought to thank him for that. And we ought to place our hope and trust completely in him because he sets us free. And friend, who he sets free is free indeed. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much for these words that remind us that you understand our alienation when we feel like we're so separated from you. But that's exactly why you died on the cross bearing our sins, so that we wouldn't have to be alienated from God anymore, but that we could come right into his presence. Help us remember that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, have a good day today and make a difference in your world. God bless you and uh, make a difference out there today.